Good morning, Porter. Yeah. You say hi? Yeah, Porter's wearing a new outfit. He got this from Uncle Philip and Aunt Ellie for Christmas. It's from H&M. They have the cutest clothes. You look like a little hipster. Yeah. Uh-huh. Hi, Gray. How are you? What are you doing? I'm watching TikTok. You're watching TikTok? Usually he calls it tic-tac-toe. Mm-hmm. He's watching yeah. videos. He's watching Aunt Allison's TikToks. Yeah. Are you excited for preschool today? No. No? Okay. <laughs> I don't know what's been up with Grayson lately, but yeah, on Tuesday and then today's Thursday, This so this whole week, he's like not wanted to go to preschool. Like on Tuesday, I had to like chase him around the house just to get him dressed. And then like he didn't want to go. And it's not like he's sick or anything. He just doesn't want to go. And I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know if this is normal. I guess like every kid probably goes through like I had to pick up a bottle. It goes through like ebbs and flows of wanting to go to school and not. I mean, what kid doesn't? But preschool is like fun. All you do is play. <laughs> Hopefully he has a good day. He didn't want to go like I said on Tuesday and then when I picked him up at the end he said he had a, so much fun and had a great day. So um, he has fun. It's just for some reason he doesn't want to go. But I like to have him go because otherwise he just wants to get on my phone and watch TikTok and get on the iPad and stuff. So he needs like a break from technology. <laughs> and then Porter and I have quality time together. And Porter is talking so much. Aren't you, Port? Yeah, what are you saying? Uh-oh, what happened? He is obsessed with this toy. I don't know if you guys remember, but I got this toy for Felix last Christmas as a cat toy. And Felix does not play with it. But Porter, oops, there we go. But Porter loves it. Porter loves this toy. <laughs> it's one of Porter's favorite, but Felix does not play with it. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, not much going on today, but I thought it would vlog because I haven't done a lot of like daily vlogging lately. Just January is always so hard because there's like not much going on. We can't really go outside because it's freezing. And because um, of like coronavirus still, like we don't really go out to places because a lot of it's indoors and we just want to limit our exposure. So there's just not much to vlog about. Um, but today Grace got preschool, so we'll see how he is when he comes home. And then I'm heading over to my parents' house after nap time this afternoon with the boys. And we're going to go see my brother and his girlfriend. They're in town from school from Cincinnati. And they have a cat. It's called Evie. It's like named after a Pokemon. And I've never met this cat before. And so I thought I'd go see them and meet the cat before they head back to school. And then... Porter, as you know, loves cats. Like, he is addicted. So he will just be chasing this cat all over. So we're going to go and see the cat. So I will try to remember to vlog meeting the cat. Hey, Grayson. Hi, Mama. How was preschool? It's good. What did you do at preschool? You cut some scissors. You cut the scissors? Yeah. Oh, okay. what else? Oh, what letter did you learn? The letter K. The letter K? What starts with K? Kangaroo. Kangaroo? What else? Kitty. Kitty. Yeah, good. What else? What else? King. King. Good. And did you have music class? Yeah, I did. You did? And what songs did you sing at music class? What did you learn about that? Did what? you learn about letters? What did you learn about letters? Z. He doesn't care about music. He just wants to talk about his letters.
What does that spell? Grayson. Grayson. You spelled your name. Nice. Good job. Mom. Love you, Mom. Love you. So we're sitting here. We're watching Coco Melon. And Felix has <laughs> just been sitting there the whole time. He refuses to let us watch our show. Porter is refusing naps. He's been, this is day two of him refusing naps. It's very annoying. He is going through a leap, leap 10, starting tomorrow. So that might be it, but I'm going to try to put him down again because I get no time to myself. He's Max. I muted it. Felix, what are you doing? He's like, don't look at the TV. Look at me. Gray's upstairs in his room. He's having quiet time. I don't know if he's taking a nap or not. I need to go check on him. But yes. I'm going to try to put Porter down. Are you tired? Yes. Do you want to go in the night? Yes. Yeah, should we go in the night? Yes. He says yeah. So we'll see. He wants me to turn the sound back on. <laughs> so we'll see if I can get him down for a nap. But it's like 45 out. I really want to go out and like walk or something. So hopefully I can get him down for yes. bed. We'll see. Good news. I finally got Porter to take a nap. I actually have both boys napping right now. Let me show you. So here's Grayson. I don't know how that's comfortable, but that's how he's sleeping right now. And then here's Porter. He only cried for like maybe five minutes and then he got quiet. And so I was like, I bet you he fell asleep. And I turned on the monitor and yep, he's asleep. Woo, 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 woo. I wanted him to take a nap because we're going over to my parents' house tonight, as I told you guys, and I feel like we're gonna be there late. And so I didn't want to have to like worry about him being tired and he needed to go to bed early because he didn't take a nap. So this is perfect. He's taking a nap and Grayson's taking a nap. So we will be great on staying up a little bit past bedtime. Now I'm like, what do I do? I got probably like an hour and a half to kill till the boys wake up. So it's like 45 degrees outside. I might just like go on a walk. I don't know. Did I tell you guys this? All of my siblings are in this challenge, this running challenge. I don't know if I've told you about this, and if I have, I'm sorry. Here it is again. We are all doing this running challenge. Well, it's it's a mile challenge. So we're doing one for Nashville, which is in March, and then we're doing another challenge for Dustin, which is in June. And basically we set an amount of miles that you need to do um, by the time these trips happen. So for Nashville, the goal is to do 150 miles by the time we go to Nashville. And then Dustin, it's 500 miles. I think both challenges are like, you have to do like two or three miles a day to like hit the goal. Obviously I'm not gonna hit that because I don't run and I don't walk that much. You can walk. It doesn't have to be all running, um, but it's all through this Nike app. And so basically whenever you go walk or you go run, you turn the app on and you push start workout and then it'll track how many miles you do. And then it automatically adds to this leaderboard and you can see where everyone's progress is. Anthony is at the top of the leaderboard. He always is at the top. He's very competitive. He is at like 40 miles right now, I think. I'm at the bottom and I have like a little less than three miles. <laughs> so you can tell there's a big difference. So all of my siblings are doing it. Plus we have my brother's wife, my sister's husband, we have Anthony doing it. And then my grandparents are doing it too. My grandparents are gonna come to Destin for a little bit. They're not going to Nashville, but they are gonna come to Destin. And so they're doing miles too. Now they're older and so they walk all the time. So I think they have a lot of miles. We have to text them and see like how many miles they have because they don't understand how to work the app, so they don't, they aren't recording it, they just know it themselves, so I'll have to text them and see how many miles they have. It's either them in the lead or Anthony's in the lead. So anyway, maybe I'll go and I'll walk in, that way I can add some miles to my three mile total. <laughs> I know I'm not gonna hit the goal, and that's not my goal to hit the goal. I just wanna see how many miles I can get by the time we do these trips. In the summer, and when it's warm outside, I do go on lots of walks with the boys, and so I have hope that as it gets warmer, like I'll go on more walks, but um, I don't have a gym membership. We don't have a treadmill, so it's hard to like go on walks in the winter when it's freezing outside, but today it's like 45 degrees. So I feel like this is a good chance to like go and get some steps in. So I think I'm gonna go do that. And then I'll let you guys know how many miles I'm at. <laughs> 
if you care. <laughs> well, if you don't care, I'm gonna tell you anyway. So anyway, yes, I'm so excited. Both boys are down. This like never happens. It happens maybe like once a week or once every other week. Like it's very rare. Although Grayson has been taking a lot more naps lately. I think he's going through a growth spurt because he's been eating a ton, which he usually just like picks at his food and then he's been taking naps. So I think he's like getting taller and going through a growth spurt, which makes sense because a lot of his 3T clothes are like high waters on him. So I really need to move him to 4T clothes, but I'm like in denial that he's in 4T clothes So I'm making him wear 3T clothes. His teachers at preschool are probably like they have no clothes <laughs> Because I put him in like 3T clothes that don't fit him. Is that a thing? Like do you do all you moms do that too? I just am in denial that he would even be in a 4T and the thing that freaks me out is that like it only goes up to 5T And then after 5T he's like in little kid clothes So then like I think it goes to just like 6 not 6T, it's just like 6. And then, you know, have you seen that meme where it's like the mom when she has to cross the the aisle in Target over to the little kid clothes? Yeah, that'll be me and I just can't even fathom that. But that's not for a couple more years. So I'm okay now, but it'll be sad when it happens. But anyway, I'm going to go walk. So I'll catch you guys after my walk. Oh, there's Evie. Hi, Evie. Oh, this is good, this is kind of windy. I'm looking under. What do you want? This is cat and Rachel's cat. She's scared. <laughs> what do you think, Gray? Is she cute? Lie down. Lie down to mom. Oh, oh, be careful. You want me to help you down? Yeah. Okay. Mimi. <laughs> She's like, you got any more? She likes Allison because Allison gave her treats. <laughs> She's coming to Allison. Aww. Porter, do you see the kitty? Who's the kitty? You see the kitty, Porter? He's, so, he's just like Linka. Grace playing with the cat toys. Where's the kitty? Yeah. <laughs> Every time. Hey guys, so it's later in the day. Obviously, I have my jammies on. I swear I don't wear this shirt every night to bed. I just wear it like in the evenings because it's cold in our house. Our windows suck and do not keep warm air in and cold air out. And so I'm always having to wear like sweatshirts at night. I always wear a different shirt underneath. I have. I don't know what shirt I have on today. Oh, a scrambler shirt. I have that on underneath. Anyway, <laughs> I just wanted to preface that. But as you saw in this vlog, we did go over to my parents' house. They were not in town. They were actually on vacation in Mexico, but we went over to visit with, like I said, my brother and his girlfriend while they were in town before they went to college. And we got to see their cat, Evie. She hid under the bed the entire time. Um, they just keep her like locked in their bedroom so she doesn't get all over the house. And as soon as we went in, it's like, I don't know if it was because there was 10 of us or she sensed the kids or whatever, but she just hid under the bed the whole time. They were able to lure her out like once or twice with treats, but she was terrified. So the kids just enjoyed like looking under the bed, trying to find her. And it was good to see the cat because they've had the cat for like almost a year now. And that's the first time I've seen her. And to just catch up with my brother and his girlfriend. This is his second semester of freshman year. And so I was just trying to get an idea of how he's like in college. And I realized he changed majors and a lot of things like you don't realize that happen when your sibling is living in a different city. So it was really fun catching up with them. And then um, my two sisters came and visited too. So it was nice to catch up with them as well. So that's it. I only videoed the clips of the cat hiding under the bed because other than that, we kind of just hung out. The boys played with the trains in the basement as always. Porter absolutely loves 
trains that like my parents have two trains that you can flip a switch and they just go by themselves and he thinks that is like the coolest thing ever he and gray actually fight over the trains but porter likes it a little bit more than gray does and he just loves it so if he still loves it by his birthday i really want to do like a train birthday theme i've seen on um like google images it has like choo choo i'm two or two two or something like that it's really cute so if he's still super into trains i'll do that but that's not until september and we're only in january so i'm more i'm focusing on grayson's birthday my mom like offhandedly mentioned it to me like oh what day are you thinking of having his birthday and now i'm like stressed out to the max of uh, trying to plan gray's birthday even though it's only january he doesn't turn four until april but I'm really struggling on a birthday party theme for him. So if you guys have any ideas for a four-year-old boy birthday party idea, let me know down below. We've done animals and then construction and then, or like trucks. And then last year was um, Hungry Caterpillar. So I don't know what I'm gonna do this year. My mom was like, just do Paw Patrol, but I kind of like to do themes that aren't characters. I know Hungry Car Caterpillar is a character, but he's like a book character. I don't really like characters that are like TV shows because I don't know, I just feel like their companies are profiting off of people way too much. I don't know. It's a personal thing. So I might go through with that or I might just pick like more of a general theme. I don't really know. Every time I ask Grayson what he wants his birthday party theme to be, he just tells me toys. So he's no help, um, but I don't know how I got on this topic. But anyway, I'm trying to think about his birthday party. So if you have any ideas, let me know down below. But I'm closing this vlog out. Thank you so much for watching. I'm um, sorry I didn't take more clips of us at my parents' house, but you guys really didn't miss much. Oh, we did get five guys to eat. We uh, door dashed it. It is expensive. There was like five of us. One, two. No, there was four of us. That was it. It was my brother and his girlfriend and then my sister and me. I didn't get anything for the kids. I just cooked them up chicken nuggets. So four of us got food from Five Guys and it came out to be like $90. That is so expensive. I know Five Guys is expensive. I didn't realize it was that expensive. I don't know if it was like DoorDash prices or they have increased their prices. But for four people, we all got like hamburgers and like only two or three of us got fries. It was $90. No, not worth it. I mean, their burgers are good, but not worth $90. So if you want cheap burger and fries, do not go to nine... <laughs> Do not go to Five Guys and Fries because they are expensive, but it was good. My mom paid for it on her. My brother has what we call a magic credit card. My parents give them like a credit card that they can use through college um, to kind of help them because obviously they're not working um, during the school year. They'll get summer jobs, but not during the school year. And so we use the magic credit card. And so I didn't have to pay $90, but that is still ridiculously expensive. So do not order from there unless you have cash to burn. So anyway, I am ending this vlog. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe, like this video, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.